All right, so here's my review on the Wealth Simple Trade. I finally got my deposit approved. It took exactly three business days, so my account is now active. Market is closed right now. I don't have anything to buy, but I could easily show you how to place an order. So I could either find stocks or I could look at my watch list that I already created. Now I'm going to stick to Canadian stocks because there's a conversion fee to buy U.S. stocks. Basically, they add 1.5% in addition to the spot rate and also US dollar is increasing. So the response to, to the fact that I couldn't link my CIBC is for me to just keep trying. And as you can see here, they charge market rate market rate plus 1.5% currency conversion. I also asked them why I couldn't find certain they linked me to the to an article on their website, but it didn't exactly answer why I couldn't find df.to for example when I could find dfn.to because they're basically in the same category you can't hold US funds either so if you buy a stock in US you're starting off with Canadian funds it'll get converted and if you sell your US stock it's going to get convert converted automatically to Canadian so you have to be aware of the day that you sell your US stock are you Will you be converting back to Canadian at a lower rate or at a higher rate? And it could make a difference. For example, if you start started off with $1,000 Canadian and you bought a stock in US and the conversion rate was 1.3, and then you made 10%, for example, on your US stock, so you decide to sell. But when you convert back to Canadian, the US dollar dropped to a dollar. So you actually lost 30% on the conversion and you made 10% on your trade. So you actually lost money on that trade because you converted back to Canadian 30% less. So these, this is an exaggerated example, but in theory, that's what you have to be careful. Also, they currently don't offer the ability to use Norbit Gambit strategy. You can't trade options and you can't use margin either. That's for now, obviously they're planning to add all these features, but for now, you can only open a regular cash account so you can't open a TFSA, you can't open an RRSP. So I already got email marketing from them. One from, well, simple, simple, honest pricing, talking to me about the investment management service that they offer. And I got a, another email offering a coaching call with one of their experts. And I have the option to schedule a call. So already in one week, I've, I got two email marketing campaigns. You can't do much on the app, but it's still very functional because you could easily use another app like Yahoo Finance or any other website that, provi that provides uh, chart analysis. And then once you pick your stock, you can just simply come here and place your trade, especially if you're a swing trader or a long-term trader. So you don't need sophisticated charts. For example, I'd probably be interested in buying Sun Life. Let's just see if there's anything else. Else, Dalrama also looks good right now, below 31. So I could go to Sun Life, click it here, because it's already on my watch list. But if it wasn't on my watch list, I could e just search for it, slf.to. Oh, there's no .to, so just slf. And it's in Canadian. I can click buy. And here on top, I have the option market buy or limit buy. I always choose limit buy. So it asks me what's the highest price per share you would pay for SLF. I would say probably let's say 44. Then click continue. How many shares of SLF do you want to buy? So it would be cool if it calculates it for me, but so I'll just use an external calculator and calculate it. So 500 divided by 44 is 11 shares. So that's going to be 11 shares. It's going to cost me $484. And I have $500 available to trade and there's no commission, no trading fees. Click continue. Confirm purchase, 11 shares of SLF. Limit price, 44 Canadian. The order will be submitted when the market opens tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Keep my order open until it is filled or I cancel it max 90 days. Confirm order.
Order sent, limit buy of 11 shares of SLF, total estimated cost of 484. So 11 times 44 is 484. I can view details. It's pending because the market is closed. And of course I have the option to cancel it. I can click great, so it brings me back to my watch list and it updates the available to trade automatically so I've got $16 available to trade so my plan with this account I'm not gonna go for things that pay dividends I'm gonna go for things with capital gains so something to buy low and sell high and since there is no commissions I can trade with a small amount because I don't have to worry about trading fees eating up my profits so I think SLF is at a 52-week low, undeservingly, so I'm just going to hopefully buy it at 44, maybe sell it at 48 or 50. And if I'm wrong, well, I'll be collecting dividends while I'm waiting. I mean, I could do it with any other stock, but I'm just choosing Sun Life because I'm pretty confident in it. I could go for maybe Pizza Pizza or Manulife as well would be a good one, actually from 19 to 22 Dollarama as well so yeah I just want to show you how to place a trade so I've got one pending trade available cash updated automatically yeah. and as you can see it was very simple to place a trade it wasn't hard but it just it's just the app just seems very primitive but I guess it depends what you need the app for. If it's if as long as it allows you to place your trades, then perfect. You could use an external app to do your research or even to look up stocks. But it's just disappointing that you can't open a TFSA or any other registered account. So they've got a long way to go. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's something that you want to see in the app. Also leave it, leave it in the comments below, any suggestions. And as always, if you're going to open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market, use my referral code in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.